Is there a moral compass left? Right here in this clip. You know, it's interesting that that's a stigma because most people, the common person who's not a sex worker, never gets tested. Versus sex workers get tested every single month or how, depending on how active they are and are the most on top of their STIs. But there's nothing wrong with STIs. STIs are common. If you're a person who's having sex with another person, you're at risk of getting an STI. And so we have to drop the stigma that somehow it means you're gross or icky. It's just like, we're all at risk for it. And it's just knowing that all STAs are manageable or curable and just get tested. It's not well, a problem. The individual who was a pastor turned into an OnlyFans model is enabling the idea of STIs being normal, not stigmatized. Now there are two sides of this argument. It can be said that it is okay to have STIs or STDs because that is what you're currently feeling the thought of sleeping around the other argument is that because immature emotions are temporary is it worth the risk of spreading such diseases just to satisfy what you're currently feeling both arguments boil down to one word feeling she's 36 and this is what she's feeling right now but will it be the same feeling 30 years from now if you are someone who understands that emotions and feelings are different because an emotion is a sensation in your body and feelings are the thoughts generated from those emotions. You understand why STDs or STIs are stigmatized. She clearly has both of them mixed up, feelings and emotions. Ask yourself this, do you think every emotion should be acted upon?